Good day, YouTube. New patch is out. Um, I'm gonna go through the patch notes, show you the new quests, and uh, just tell you what, what kind of new things we got in the game. So the game was down for five hours, and uh, let's go through the changes first. First of all, map to map travel. Transitions. I mean, can you see? I guess you can kind of see. Transitions between locations are now available in every raid as well as in PvE mode. So the usual marathon mode is available in every single mode now. So you just play usual PvP and you can transfer in between the maps. You can go from any map to any map. So you can go from ground zero to streets and back to ground zero. In other words, you can go in circles for as long as you want to. You can play those maps for as long as you want to. The same thing is available for player scaps and it's available in PvE. Transit activation time has been reduced to one minute. Uh, used to be seven minutes. Now it's one minute you need to stay in the raid before you can uh, transit to another map. Some marathon event uh, tasks as well as the marathon achievement have been adjusted but remain available for completion. So we can still do the marathon achievement. Big new change. Mortar Strikes. A new in-game event Mortar Strikes has started. The locals have found a stockpile of mortars and now are regularly sharing the open terrain from safe positions. This happens on customs, woods, shoreline and reserve. Mortar attacks happen in PvP, in PvE, and in practice modes. Scav bosses and other bots react uh, appropriately to the attacks. Uh, edit a new task line for the in-game event. Players will be players will be able to obtain unique rewards related to the event for after they completing uh, the task. Special equipment that warns about the start of mortar strike in advance. Special consumable item that initiates the mortar fire the player's position. And you can also get a unique achievement as a reward for finishing the task line, available only during the event. So right now, if you go into the game and you go to proper, there is a new quest called Inferno. It asks you to visit the Mortar Strike arena on any of the locations. And this is the first quest in the quest line. And at the same time, I believe there is a new quest from Defense. I'm not sure if it's related to the game somehow, but apparently you get Streamer's item case as a reward if you finish this quest. Uh, you need to stash a lot of Wi-Fi cameras in different places. However, I feel um, this isn't new. You say special comms is new. No, special comms is not new. That's the quest from the beginning of the wipe. So yeah, we basically get this. Is this a reference? Um, you get a streamer case if you didn't manage to get it when it was uh, available by gifting a sub to a streamer. And we get the, we get a quest from, um, from proper into the Inferno. AI changes. Improved Partisan's AI behavior model when traveling long distances and installing tripwires. <coughs> Improved AI movement routes after taking cover to make them smoother and more diverse. QL improvements, rubles, dollars, euros, and GP coins are no longer found in rate. Balancing changes. Edit barters for the following items. Gjell, Ragman level 3, Zabrao, proper level 4. Both come without ballistic plates. Increase the amount of uh, compensation for a successful report of a player who violated the escape from Tarkov license agreement. Basically, when you die to a cheater and you report the cheater, you're going to get more money back. I am not sure what the amount is, but hopefully it is it is more than 30k. That's what it used to be. Set in-rate drop limit for some items to 3. Maybe something like intelligence folder, let's say. Uh, Vulcan helmet is right now level 5. Used to be level 6. They reduce the armor points, reduce the cost. Reduce the wearing penalties and increase the spawn chance. Punisher Part Five was adjusted. You can use, uh, you can hand in different AKs. You can hand in different Makarov pistols, and you can also use Twitch Paka um, for completing the quest. Adjusted Spator Part Three. Uh, you can hand in any variation of WD40. Adjusted Slaughterhouse. You can use any knife to kill the scavs. And they also replace the ammo given as rewards in various uh, tasks. Sounds improve the occlusion of lamp sounds, so lamps sound better. Improve the occlusion of door and container sounds in first and third person. Increase the volume of Yusek Charlie voice. All right, Charlie is not a quiet boy anymore. Fixed certain cases with inability with inability to hear the sounds of grenades bouncing off obstacles. So hopefully we hear grenades more often now. Improve the display of the item shown when attempting to sell a container or a weapon with mods that are available to sell to traders. Um, okay. Fix the hands bug when you use double barrel. Good thing. Uh, in the previous patch when you were using a double barrel and you would reload, your hands will get bugged and you will have to alt the four or um, extract from the raid. 
Uh, fixed freezing when dropping backpack while using uh, bipods. Fixed teleporting after jumping off the, uh, over barbed wire. Fixed incorrect display of gained experience. Fixed several uh, visual um, issues. Fixed missing the new Baron user clothing in PvE. Fixed several instances of errors appearing when upgrading a zone. Fixed leveling of intelligence skill by crafting items in hideout. Fixed an issue, fixed an issue causing bots not respond to players' scaffs commands. Fix the sound of dropping backpack in the first person. Fix the incorrect calculation of equipment weight when transferring containers to the inventory. All right, fix that. Fix the uh, smoke balaclava clipping through the ops core helmets. That's good. That is very important. Um, fix the ballistic plate compatibility with the stitch. Uh, blah blah blah. Fix something else. Fix the bullet velocity for Ash 12. Fix examine by default setting for certain ammo packs. Fix the incorrect collision when a grenade hits a player or a bot after taking damage. And uh, more or less, this is it. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments down below. I hope we will not die to mortar strikes very often. And uh, once again, I stream on Twitch daily. Check me out on Twitch. Um, say hi if I'm live. If I'm not, make sure you hit the follow button. And also subscribe to the channel. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching the YouTube video. I will see you in the next one.